What is your reaction to what you're seeing the, the president saying about the Postal Service uh, and the, the funding needs that the service currently faces? Well, thanks so much for uh, having me on. My immediate reaction to today's news is that it's truly shameful. And I think that people across the political spectrum who are fair-minded would agree. Uh, but at least the cat's out of the bag. The president of the United States himself connected the dots and basically said that he's willing to hold this national treasure that belongs to all of us, the United States Postal Service, older than the country itself, serving the people in so many ways. And here we are in a pandemic, courageously out there as frontline essential workers connecting the country in these challenging and dangerous times, that he's willing to hold the post office hostage that needs COVID appropriated relief due to this economic crisis, that he's willing to hold back on that in order to either keep people from voting, uh, because if people are gonna have access to the ballot box this election, tens of millions of more people are gonna have to vote by mail, or to at least raise this idea that somehow vote by mail is not gonna work and your ballot's not gonna get, you're not gonna get there on time and therefore don't bother voting at all. So I think it's very dangerous. It's very disturbing to postal workers who are very dedicated to the people of the country to, to provide prompt, reliable, and efficient services. That's what the law says. That's what we're dedicated to. We call it our DNA. Never delay mail. We're not beholden to any individual candidate or political party. We're beholden to the rights of the American people to bind the country together. And what better way to do it than provide access to the ballot box?